Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're here. I have to tell you, I've been looking forward to this for days. <laughs> I'm just so glad that you took a few minutes out of your morning to spend it with me. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. I have so many exciting things to talk about today. I've been thinking about them for the last 24 hours. First of all, we're going to talk about an unfortunate thing that's going on in the beauty community. I'll tell you the details in just a minute. The second thing is I'm going to tell you about a sale that kind of snuck up on me. And I was trying to figure out how to let you guys know, because I know so many of you are going to want to know about it. And I thought, you know, I could do an Instagram post or I could send it out to my email newsletter list, but not everybody's on my email newsletter list. If you're not on my newsletter list, sign up down below because it's really handy. And then I thought, you know, I'll just do a live on Sunday morning because it's a great sale. It only comes around a little bit. It's with my favorite skincare company. So you guys probably already know what it is. Then I'm going to tell you about a hair care thing <laughs> that ended up being such a big kerfuffle, but I figured it out. So I want to share that information with you. And then I'm going to answer a few questions that I've had recently. And I know that if someone puts a question or has a concern or a comment under one of my videos, then lots of you are thinking about it. So I'm really excited for this morning. I do have my coffee, but I want to show you a little dorky thing <laughs> I do with my coffee. You guys know I'm a crocheter and I'll tell you what, Friends don't let friends crochet. Once you start crocheting, it can kind of turn into a whole thing. And then you have never enough yarn. And it just becomes something that takes over your life a little bit. At least it did for me. One of the things I do is I take cotton yarn and I crochet these little bitty squares. And I put that on top of my coffee in the morning <laughs> to help keep it warm. So there we have it. I'm just not as cool as you would think I am. So... <laughs> Hmm. Let's see who's in here. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We have Virginia, California. Oh, gosh. Melbourne, Florida, Arizona, Kansas City. So happy to have you all here. Thank you. I want to tell you, first of all, about an unfortunate little scam that's going on in the beauty community. And it's probably going on in all the communities on YouTube and on social media. And that is there are people pretending to be me. And they're sending out comments and messages from a WhatsApp application saying, hi, this is Kimberly. You've won an iPad or a computer or something else. Give me your address or your phone number or whatever. And then this whole conversation starts. Well, the scam is, is that they want your credit card number in order to pay for the shipping of the free item. You guys, you know, that's not me. That's not any of us. And I know it's happening to other women in the beauty community as well. If you get contacted by anybody, or if there's a comment underneath one of your comments on my videos, that is pretty not say, like answering your question, or if they're offering you something free, it's a scam. Don't fall for it. I know you wouldn't anyway, but I just wanted to say it out loud because I've gotten several emails this week from people who kind of got led down the road a little bit. And then the red flags went up when they were asked to give their credit card number. So we know not to do that. That's just what's happening right now. And unfortunately, I think we're going to probably see a bit of a rise in that activity as things get a little wilder and weirder in the world. And then it'll fall off when things settle down again. So just warning right there, word to the wise. So um, Sarasota, Florida, New York City, Vero Beach. Oh, I've got a lot of Florida girls. Edinburgh, Scotland. Good morning, Valerie. Nice to have you here. Minnesota, Maryland. I just love having all you guys show up from around. And of course, most of you know, I am moving to South Carolina. And I'll tell you what, the packing has begun my house is an absolute wreck. What is it about putting together the very first packing box, you know, taping the box up and getting out the packing paper that your house just explodes in stuff everywhere? That's what I'm living with. My daughter was here with her boyfriend for a few days. They helped me with a few things. And now I'm just furiously getting everything together. I'm not taking a lot with me. I'm pretty much just taking the very personal items 
I'm leaving all my furniture and a lot of my decor items with my daughter. And then I'm just kind of going, I'm going to be driving across country with my clothes. I actually have really pared down my clothes, my clothes, my skincare, my makeup, <clears throat> a few knickknack items that are sentimental. And that's about it. So that's what's going on in my life. It's a crazy wreck right now. But one thing <clears throat> that I really want to share is the sale from The Ordinary and Neod. You guys know The Ordinary is my favorite skincare company, hands down. And this is, <laughs> this is my ordinary box. So when I say I'm a fan of The Ordinary, I'm not kidding you. I bought this stock back when they had the November 23% off sale because I wanted to kind of get everything for the whole year which has really worked out well. They're having their 23% off everything, the ordinary and neon now. And it kind of snuck up on me if I'd known about it beforehand or been aware of it, I guess I wasn't paying attention. I would have sent out an email or something, but I realized we're already in the middle of it. It started a few days ago. It goes until the 23rd. So it's really easy to remember. It's 23% off until the 23rd. So I want to show you this morning the things that I stock up on when they have this sale because you might as well stock up because, you know, you're going to use it all year long and it's not going to expire. And I'm just now realizing that I left one of the products in my bathroom, but I'll tell you about that. And this one is the one that, you know, if you're you're interested, you absolutely have to get. So I'm going to go over what I love from the ordinary and what I stocked up in, in my last sale. Now, keep in mind, this is such a good opportunity because the ordinary, most of the serums I use from them and products from them are, you know, $20 and under, and a lot of them are $10 and under. So when they're doing a 23% off sale, it is a screaming deal, which is why I stock up. So the very first thing that I say is an absolute must have from the ordinary is their niacinamide 10% zinc 1%. In my mind, and I'll, here, I'll let you guys kind of see it. In my mind, everyone can benefit from this. This really supports all skin types. And what niacinamide does is it helps any skin type to function better. So this really helps with the functionality of your skin. This comes in two sizes, a 30 ml and a 60 ml. I used to get the 30 ml, but you know what? I just get the 60 now because it pencils out to be less expensive. And with the sale, it's a really, really good deal. I add this to my skincare routine morning or evening, depending on what else I have going in my skincare routine at that time. One of the ways I really like to use this is in the evening before I put on my retinol complex. I use Curology right now, and I'll put the niacinamide on my skin all over because that really helps with the slip. When you're using, let's say, the ordinary retinol, you just use a tiny pea size amount, and it's difficult to get it all over your skin. But if you have a good slip on it first, then it rubs in and spreads out more evenly. So it's a great little trick and hack if you want to make sure that that retinol gets all of your skin. So the niacinamide 10% from The Ordinary, this to me is one of their absolutely staple products. I love it. I've got <laughs> several in my bucket. The next up is the vitamin C suspension 23% with hyaluronic acid spheres, 2%. If I buy a vitamin C serum, and clearly I bought these, The Ordinary does not send this stuff to me. I buy all of it. They really don't send out much PR, except when you're, except when they're launching a new product. So this is probably one of my favorite vitamin C serums. This is actually kind of a lotion that's available. If you have sensitive skin, don't get this. It really is. It's a stronger vitamin C application. I really like it. If you don't want to make your own, you know, you can make your own really inexpensively. I have a video over on the channel, vitamin C. I have a new recipe that includes E and ferulic acid. 
If you don't want to make your own, this is a great choice. It is a stronger vitamin C serum, so it's really going to brighten your skin, really going to keep your pores, you know, moving over and cleaned out, really give you a nice um, antioxidant benefit. So this is one of my favorites from the ordinary, the vitamin C suspension, 23% with hyaluronic acid spheres, 2%. Next up for the ordinary, and you guys know, <laughs> I love this. This is my Argyroline solution. So you can see it right there, Argyroline solution. This is my Botox in a bottle. Now, does it, does it act exactly like Botox? No, not quite, but it has the same concept. What this does is it actually sinks into your skin and kind of, in, in gets into the muscle and releases the strong contraction of your muscles. So when you furrow your brows, you know, like this, you get those 11s. What this does over time is that it relaxes that muscle a little bit. So you don't get those really strong 11s. Now I don't have any medical procedures on my face anywhere. I don't have any Botox, no fillers. I haven't walked into a doctor's office in a long, long time. So everything on my face is done at home. I get a lot of people saying, you've had this done, you've had this done. Actually, I just haven't. Everything's been at home. And this Argyroline solution has really kind of replaced the whole Botox thing for me. So I put it here on my crow's feet area and in my 11s. I just put like, oh, maybe a third of a dropper full into the palm of my hand. And then I just tap my two fingers in there and tap it right here and tap it right here. It's not like Botox in the sense that you're not going to walk out of the doctor's office and in the next couple of days really have a dramatic difference in how those muscles re retract. But it's going to gently over time really, really soften those areas. And I know that because I ran out, gosh, it's been about eight or nine months ago now, and about three or four weeks later, I looked in the mirror and went, what happened? <laughs> and it was because I hadn't used this. You know, it was so subtle that I didn't really realize what it was doing. So I use it all the time. now. This is really inexpensive. It's under $10 with the sale. It's probably going to be closer to $5. It's really worth it. It does a great job. So this is the Argyroline solution, 10%. Next up. I've got all my little things here. Okay, this is a must have from The Ordinary. This is their AHA BHA peeling solution. And you guys, I you know, I have all these linked in the description box down below. So you can go right over to The Ordinary site and take a look at the products. Now, keep in mind, this sale is not gonna happen on Ulta or Sephora. They both carry The Ordinary. The sale is only good from The Ordinary and the Decium website. So you have to go over there. So all the links below are to the Ordinary and Decium website where you're going to get the 23% off. Good morning, everybody. I'll tell you, I love, love, love doing lives. And I love seeing you guys chatting it up. You know what I do when I'm done with a live? I go back and I read all the comments because it's such a kick for me. It's such a pleasure. So this is the AHA BHA peeling solution. This is the red serum. I love this. I try to use this every single week, like on Sunday nights, to really exfoliate my skin. It does such a beautiful job at such a great price. This is a dupe for the drunk elephant. Whatever their peeling solution is, it's like $90. I don't even know the name of it, you guys. I've never even used it. It's like, why bother when I've got this? This is so affordable. It's going to be under $10, especially with the sale, probably closer to $5. This is such a wonderful exfoliator. It really does work. And it really does a great job of keeping my pores cleaned out, giving you that really, really smooth skin. Now for you. But if your skin is kind of average to not sensitive at all, my skin is not not sensitive. This is wonderful. Now, if you kind of are on the borderline of sensitive and medium, it might be worth it to go ahead and order a bottle, particularly on the sale, and just do a little test and see if you can, you know, work with it and see if it works with your skin. 
I know when I first started using this and it, I, I put it all over my face. It looks like a face mask when I have it on. I don't bring it down my neck. I just keep it on my face. The first couple of times I was like, wow, this is stinging. <laughs> it really did sting. But now I'm more or less used to it. But now I'm more or less used to it. And I don't even really think about it. What I'll do is I'll put this on my face and then I'll go get busy doing like a household task, emptying the dishwasher or, you know, preparing something, keeping myself busy. So I'm not focusing on the fact that it's a little stingy on my face. So the AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution from the Ordinary, this is a great product. I just love the Ordinary. The thing about the Ordinary is that they really democratized skincare. In other words, at the time the Ordinary came out, there was just a whole lot of those $90, $120, $150 going to fix your face miracle serums out there. And the Ordinary came along and they said, wait a minute. These ingredients are not expensive. We can put together a clean, effective, affordable line that anyone can afford. And they really have done a great job. The founder, Brandon, has crossed over to the other side. He's no longer in the physical. But the company has really kept the culture that he instilled. In other words, just really integrity-driven, clean products, great pricing. I just am really thrilled with them. The next two products that I think are must-haves from The Ordinary are the buffets. They have two in their line. They have the regular buffet and the buffet with copper peptides. You see that I have both. Now, what the buffet is, is it's a cocktail of serums that provide a well-rounded nutritional and effective skincare combination for your skin. It really is wonderful. There's matrixyl in there and all types of peptides and hyaluronic acid and everything. Now, the buffet with copper peptides is special because it has the copper peptide in it. Now, copper peptides are very expensive in skincare. At least to me, they're very expensive. They run like $60, $70 for a good pop copper peptide. The fact that this has 1% in it and you can get it for under 20, probably under $25, under $30 for sure, probably under $25 with the sale, it's really a good value. With the buffet with copper peptides, it is such a comprehensive serum that you probably could use it all on its own and just a good moisturizer and have a very complete skincare application to really affect changes on your skin. That's how complete the buffet is. One of the things that I am interested in trying is using the copper peptide buffet formulation with the rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. I haven't used that oil before, at least I don't remember having used it, but I think that that's going to be a pretty cool combination. Once I get moved and settled, I'm going to do a test for a couple of months on that and we'll see how it is. So definitely the buffets, either one of these is good. The copper peptide is going to be a little bit more expensive, but really that copper peptide is amazingly effective. So those are the things that I think are great from The Ordinary. But one thing I want to say is they have a ton of products in their product line. They really do. I have not tried all of them. If you see something that you think, oh, I think I might want the results that that might be able to provide me, I, I really recommend The Ordinary. Although I haven't tried everything, I really haven't gotten anything from them that I thought was a stinker or wasn't worth the money that wasn't a great value. So if you're thinking about something from the ordinary and I haven't talked about it, it doesn't mean that it's not good. It just means I haven't tried it. So next up, I want to talk about hyalamide. This, of course, is a Decium brand hyalamide. And I fell in love with this line. Gosh, several months back, you guys know I did a full video on hyalamide and then they discontinued it. So they do have stock in-house still. And what I can see or what I think I saw is that they're selling the hyalamide on the ordinary website. So check that out. You can still get the sub-Q eyes and the sub-Q skin, I'm pretty sure, which to me are great products. I'm sorry to see the hyalamide. I'm sorry to see the hyalamide go, but Brian, my guy at Desium, says that they've got exciting things in line for the ordinary. So I think what they're going to do is probably build out the ordinary line to pretty much 
entail all the things that they felt the hyalamide line was impacting. Now let's move on to Neod. I really have only used two products from Neod. One of them is the copper amino isolate, which is the copper peptides. And I have two here. Of all the copper peptide serums that I've tried, this is probably the best. It is a pure copper peptide serum. And oh my gosh, if you want your skin to get plump and firm, copper peptides really, really did that for me. I was actually shocked after I tried the copper peptides from Neod at how much firmer and plumper my skin was. And let me give you an analogy. You know how when you're baking a cake and you pull it out of the oven to check it and you kind of tap the top and it sort of sinks in and you know you've got to put it back in the oven and then you pull it out in five minutes and you tap the top and it bounces back and it's ready. That's what it did to my skin. It made my skin feel like that cake that was ready in the oven. So when I, you know, tap it, it bounces back instead of kind of sinking in from loss of collagen and elastin that happens to all of us as we get older. It just is. It's just what happens. So anything we can do to increase collagen and elastin production, that's the ticket. So the copper amino isolate, which is their copper peptides from the Neod, this is really a good serum. It's really expensive. At least in my book, it's really expensive. It's like 60 or $70 for a tiny little bottle that will last you a month. So this is a great time if you want to pick up a really effective, really pure, really, really strong copper peptide serum. This is the time because you can get it for 23% off. So that's one of the things I've tried from Neon. The other thing I've tried from Neod is, excuse me, I've got to reach it over here. Uh, my table right now is a moving box. <laughs> That's what's going on around here. The other thing I've tried is this Super Oxide Disney Taste Mist. I really like this and it has copper in it. It has a bunch of other things. And I use this before I put on my serums in the morning, or at least I did use this. I'm using something else now, which I'll show you in a minute. This serum sells out all the time, all the time. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, I didn't even check the site this morning to see if they still had it. You know, I'm sure some things have sold out from Neod. This is excellent. I used to use this all the time. And if you get this and you end up using the whole bottle, keep this spray bottle because it's really good. I use these empty spray bottles for a lot of things. I no longer use this on my skin because I am using the Ion Skin Support. Now, this is from the company that makes the Ion Biome, which is the probiotic. Well, it's not probiotic. It's the gut health thing that I take in the morning. They developed a skin support. The reason I'm using this now is because I am looking at ways to support my skin from the sun that don't include the toxic, the toxic ingredients from sunscreen. And I know that a lot of you get that. It's really coming out that there are so many toxic ingredients in sunscreen and I am really doing a deep dive in trying to find alternative healthful ways to protect our skin from the sun. And I'm actually working with Cindy Fallon. You might remember Cindy Fallon. She was the scientist that came on and talked about the ion biome that I use for my gut health. She's a brilliant woman. She's been working in large corporate organizations as a scientist for a long, long time. She's now with ion biome and is working on product development. And she and I are working together to really talk about how to healthfully support your skin while avoiding the toxic ingredients that can be found in a lot of sunscreen. So we're working on that. And this is one of the things I'm doing. So I use this as a mister on my face before my serums, morning and evening. And I'm really liking that. This is actually what I took to South Carolina with me. So those are the products from The Ordinary and from Neod that I love, but there's one more. <laughs> and that was the one that I forgot. It's in my bathroom. It's the new peptide lash and brow serum from The Ordinary. I'll tell you what, I am so loving this lash and brow serum for a few reasons. First of all, they sent it to me a couple of months back 
to test it and try it before they launched it because they wanted to have the opinion of me and some other influencers before they launched it. It is really, really good. The cool thing about it, well, there's a number of cool things about it. And if you try it already, you'll know this. First of all, it doesn't turn my eyelids red. Now, I don't have anything on my face this morning. I have no makeup on. I do have lipstick on, no makeup. And the only thing I have on my face this morning, I haven't done my skincare yet because I haven't done my devices yet, is moisturizer. So look at my eyelids. I've been using the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum for about three months now. My eyelids are not red. I really loved the V Beauty Serum that I got from Amazon. It was a peptide formula as well, but it made my eyelids, particularly down along the lash line, a little bit red. I'm not sure why it did that, whether it's increased blood flow from the, my eyelids are not red from the Ordinary Serum because it's one less discoloration on my lids that I have to cover up. So I'm appreciating that. The second thing is, is that my eyelashes are just as long as they were with the V Beauty Serum. They're just long and lush and healthy and thick and full. Loving that part. The third thing is, is that it's only $14.50. It is $10 less than the serum I was getting off of Amazon. And it's more in the, in the tube. In other words, I think the one on Amazon was... 0.02 mLs, and this one is 0.03 or something. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that part. But I know that there's more product in the Ordinary's Lash Serum than there was in the V Beauty Serum, and it's $10 cheaper. And with the 23% off discount, I'm going to get like four or five. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> because you guys are going to sell out. They're going to sell out, and then it's going to be sold out for a long time. And it's not just the Ordinary. It's the supply chain issue. Jews, you know it. I know it. We all know it. We've seen it in the shelves and the stores. The supply chain is breaking down and it's not going to get better for a while. So I, that's why I stocked up way back in November because I knew what was coming <laughs> and it's not going to get better for a while. There's just a whole lot of issues around it that this is going to be you know, another 12, maybe even 24 months before we start getting things regularly again. If we ever do, we might have to start manufacturing here in the U.S. So for the lash and brow serum, I'm going to order like three or four because I want enough to last me for at least a year so that they have time to restock. So that's what I'm loving from the ordinary. Again, the sale is 23% off everything on the neon site, and on the ordinary site, and it goes through the 23rd. So today's the 19th, so you have four more days to take advantage of that sale. They generally do this again in November. If you wait till November, you'll get the same discount. I'm not sure what the inventory is going to look like. Things are going to get really pretty rough as far as getting things on the shelf for a while. So you might want to think about that as you know you make your decisions. So let's check in. Um, how long did you use it to notice that it helped? I imagine you're talking about the Argyrolene. I don't know, maybe six weeks. It was so subtle that I didn't even really realize how much it was doing until I stopped using it. You know, if you don't think your skincare is working, just stop. You'll find out. And boy, you'll probably see that it really does. Um, I've used a sunscreen. They're usually full of chemicals. That can't be good. No, it's not good. And you know, I am sure that I'm not alone in questioning a lot of things we've been told. I think that that's kind of the general consensus right now. And I think that there's probably been maybe a, a laxity on my part of really not examining what I'm putting in my body and on my body. And that's changing. And here's what happens is that when you start noticing one little thing, like, oh, I don't want to eat that packaged food that has all the chemicals in it. It's just one step at a time. And before you know it, you're making more healthful decisions and your health is improving and everything else. So don't think that it's this whole big thing that you have to take on and change everything you're using. Just start with one little thing and you'll find that you're just making decisions that are much more healthful for not only your skin and your body, but your lifestyle. So don't let it overwhelm you. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is my Revlon One Step. And you guys are going to laugh about this. This is my Revlon One Step. This is what I use to style my hair. And if I could be in love with a hair tool, 
it would be this one. I have not in my life had a hair tool that has made styling my hair so much easier than this. Now, there are a lot of these on the market, these hairbrush dryer shaped hair dryers. And this is the only one I've tried. So I can't compare it to other ones. I bought this. I bought this thinking that's not going to work for me because my hair is too short. You know, it's got a pretty big head on it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to finally just buy it, take it home, give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'll just return it. I bought it. I tried it. Oh my gosh. It has made styling my hair so much easier. But you do need to be careful with it because it can be hard on your hair. So when I am drying my hair, I use the higher setting. When I'm styling it, I make sure I use the lower setting because you are turning it and pulling on your hair. You don't want that super high heat that's going to break your hair off. Other than just being careful with it, I love this thing so much. And actually, I can't remember the last time I used my flat iron. I styled my hair with this this morning. I got out of bed. I had bed hair and I styled it with this. I didn't even wet it. I just did this dry. And this is all from this styler. Now, here's what I want to share with you. Before I went to South Carolina, I decided it's time to clean my Revlon One Step because I've had it for a while. And what happens is that over time, as you use it, it gets hair products in it and it gets hair buildup and oils from your scalp and that sort of thing. And it starts having a little bit of a gray discoloration because those products are stuck on the little, you know, bristles and that sort of thing. Well, I decided to clean it. And oh my gosh, you guys what a pain in the butt. That was a project. The next time I do it, I'm going to schedule it in because it took so much longer than I thought. Someone needs to design one of these where the bristle head pops off. So you actually can submerge it into water and soak those products off because I'll tell you, this was a pain in the patootie to clean. The first thing that I had to do was try to get all the hair out. And of course, the hair is wrapped around and you can see I've been using it. I used it on my trip and I've used it since I got home. So it's got a little bit of hair built up on it from using it. First, get all the hair off. And then what I did is I took a mixture of a Dr. Bronner's soap, a little bit of vinegar and water. And I took a toothbrush and I kept it upright because you don't want to get the water inside the unit because that's where the motor is. That's why they need to design one of these that this pops off and leaves the motor intact. And then you can just put it back on again. And what I quickly found out using a toothbrush to clean these bristles is that all that did was make a mess. You know how when you rub a toothbrush against something and it just splatters everywhere and <laughs> made a huge mess in my sink and in my kitchen. So what I finally decided to do is I took that toothbrush and then very gently coated the entire brush in that formula of the Dr. Bronner's, the vinegar and the water, and I let it sit. In other words, I turned it upside down and I just let that formulation sit on the bristles. And then I came back and I literally had to take my fingers and go onto every bristle and pull off all the built up skincare product it does take a long time and it's a pain, but it really is. So if anybody knows one of these that the head pops off, that would be a solution or you just have to let it sit. You know, I struggled with that toothbrush thing, trying to clean those bristles. It wasn't worth it. And it certainly made a mess in my kitchen. So I just put the cleaning solution on this and let it sit for a while. So it loosened up all those hair products. If you have tips on how to clean this more effectively and more efficiently than I figured out, put it in the comment section because we want to learn from you. Put it in the comment below the video, not the chat, so people can see it more easily if they refer back to this video. The bottom line is, do I still love this? Yes, absolutely. It's unfortunate that's a little hard to clean, but as far as a hair care tool goes, this thing is rocking. And if you've used another brand that you think beats this out, let me know and I'll go ahead and pick it up and try it on the channel and give you guys between the two. 
Okay, so that's the one step. How's everybody doing? <laughs> what have we got here? Um, it's it was a lot of work. It's she says it sounds like a lot of work um, from Julia. How does it do with the ordinary last serum last you? You know, I'm still on the one they sent me, and they sent it to me about three months ago. So a crazy long time. Now, did I use it every single day? No, I probably missed some days, but it's going to last you at least a few months. I only use it once a day. I use it in the morning. They say use it morning and evening. I suppose you would have better results if you did that. I've just been using it in the morning. So that's how long. I love the V Beauty. What a difference it has made. I tried the false eyelashes, magnetic lashes, magnetic eyeliner and lashes. I just couldn't get the hang of it. This serum gave me lashes. Yeah, the V Beauty really, really does work. So if you have tubes of that already, keep going with that. The Ordinary is just as good. I feel like it's a little bit more helpful because it doesn't turn my eyelids red and it's less expensive. So those are some great pluses. Um, Dyson Airwrap head is separate. I love mine. You know, I was actually thinking about looking into the Dyson. I might do that. I know that it's it's a pretty expensive brand, so I don't know how accessible it is to a wide range of people, but I'll definitely consider looking into them. Okay, now I want to answer a couple of questions, but first I need some coffee <laughs> because it's morning here too. What are you guys doing this weekend? I'm packing up, packing up and selling things on Facebook Marketplace. Mm. So there were a couple of questions from my South Carolina blogs that I thought were important. If you haven't seen my blogs, I'll update you on the skincare part of the, the whole trip. Here's what happened. I was going to take my Nebulift radio frequency device and my Myolift QT. Now, I haven't talked about the Myolift QT on my channel yet because I'm going to do a full video on it, not sponsored. I just want you guys to know about it and tell you all the neat features of the Myolift QT. The Myolift QT is a microcurrent device like the new face. However, I have the new face. I've had two new faces. It kicks new faces, but <laughs> QT because you can use it to design a better mousetrap with my so many things. It has a UBS attachment on the bottom where you can use the eye mask, the mouth mask. You can use the gloves with it. You can, it's just awesome. Plus the device itself is so wonderful. I just love it. And I'm pretty sure that the Mile of QT is really comparable in price to the new face. And it does so much more. It really is an amazing invention. They just did a great job. And I've told them that too. I told it it's been really good. So I was going to take my Nebula radio frequency device and my Mile of QT. I did not. I forgot them. About a week into it, I could start seeing the results on my face. And the face, my face was falling a little bit. I've been back home. I've been using my devices, including my red light, every day. And I'm going to do a video and show you the progression of my face, getting it back a little firmer and a little bit tighter after I've gotten home. So someone left a comment on one of my videos that said, are you trying to tell me that if you stop using your devices all the advances just go poof. She sounded very frustrated. And I can understand that. It's like, well, wait a minute. You know, why are you going to use them if the minute you stop using them, everything falls? Well, that's kind of a yes and no answer. The thing that is with skincare devices is that it's just like going to the gym or working out. As you continue to work out consistently and regularly with an effective routine, your body's going to change. It's going to change for the better. You're going to feel better. Your The contour of your better body's going to look nicer. You're going to have more muscles, that sort of thing. What happens when you stop working out? Well, slowly over time, you start losing those you know, improvements. Will it come back if you start exercising again? Yes. It probably will come back quicker because you built up that muscle base. That's what happens with any skincare, whether it's skincare serums, moisturizers, anything you put on your face or with devices. They really, really do improve the structure and contour of your face. It certainly has with mine. 
But if you stop using it, you're going to slowly lose those results. Now, I was able to see the diminishment in results pretty quickly because this is what I do. You know, I try, try and test skincare and devices. So I'm very cognizant of what happens and what happens when you don't use them. So the answer to that question is, yes, you're going to lose the benefits. They're going to start fading. Does it happen right away? No. If you start using them again, do you have to start from scratch? No. Things are going to perk up pretty quickly. And you guys can see on my face right now, and sorry about the glasses. There's no way for me to be able to read the comments, you know, or the chat without my glasses. But you guys can see already on my skin, it's starting to look better. You know, my, my neck is getting a lot more firm again, and that's from my red light unit. I, my nasolabial folds are a little less, you know, they were really like this when I was gone on my trip because I was sleeping on a regular pillow, not my sleeping glow pillow, which, you know, doesn't swish my face at night and things are getting more lifted. It's going to look a lot better in about a week's time. And, and I pretty much knew what was going to happen because I'm so familiar with the devices. Now, the second question has been, do I need all of those? And the answer is no, nobody needs these. Nobody needs any of this. What we need is food, water, love, fresh air, that sort of thing. None of us need any of this. However, if you do want to have an impact on your skin, there are things that you can do. You can use serums and moisturizers and some great products from companies that put together a great line at an affordable price. And you can use at-home devices. It is a choice for what kind of impact or what kind of changes you're looking on your skin. I have people ask me all the time, if you could only use one device or only afford one device, which one would it be? And my answer has always been hands down a red light device. And I don't mean a red light mask. And the reason I have never, ever really talked about red light masks on my channel is that the power that you get from a panel unit is so much greater than the power you get from a mask or a handheld wand. And the way that I can describe it is that the mask and the handheld wands are kind of like a sparkler on the 4th of July. The panel units are like the finale of, of the fireworks show. The power and the strength of a panel unit is so much greater than a mask or a handheld unit. And when it comes to red light, power is what matters. It's power and the number of frequencies that that unit provides. You will get so much healthful benefits for your whole body. And I mean your whole body from using a red light unit that that alone is worth it. All the the skin tightening impact, that's just icing on the cake. It does impact your skin. And I'll tell you, my neck responds to red light so quickly. And I don't know why. I think it's the ATP that is the spark that kind of generates regeneration in your body. I think it just wakes up your skin and it gives it like a big old drink of good stuff that it needs. Because I can see an immediate difference in my neck when I've used my red light device really regularly for like three or four days. It also is great just for softening wrinkles on your face and just making your skin look so much more healthful and so much firmer. So if you can only afford one device, I would get a red light panel. <clears throat> Save your money. You know, don't, I personally, I don't want to make a decision for you or tell you what to do. But personally, I feel like the in the best investment is in a panel unit because they're so much more powerful and they have a range of frequencies that you can get. The face units, they're just not as powerful. And I had a company send me a face unit and I was going to use it and review it on the channel. And then I started reading the instructions and it said, make sure that your face is absolutely clean of everything, any kind of moisturizers or skin cares, face oils, anything before you put the mask on. And I realized, oh, that's right, because those lights in that mask are actually going to lay on your skin. So if you have something on your skin, it's going to get on those little lights and prevent that light from coming through 100%. Well, 
I thought that's kind of a pain because when I sit in front of my red light unit, I'll sometimes do it in the morning right after I get out of bed. I still have my skincare on from the night before that has actually, you know, has, has penetrated into my skin, but I'm sure there's some residue. I just sit in front of my red light unit whenever I want to because my face doesn't actually touch the lights. So I don't have to worry about making sure every single bit of skincare or makeup is off my skin before I sit in front of my red light unit. I just hang it on the back of my door and I pull up a little chair that I have near there and I just plop myself down. I try to do it bare skinned or in some kind of like cami top that I have a lot of my skin exposed because it's the same with sunlight. That red light is going to generate some great responses to your body. Like when you're out in the sunlight and you're going to get all that great vitamin D, which is what you want. You want that vitamin D with no sunscreen on your skin. That is so healthful and so important. And I think the pendulum has swung all the way to the direction of hiding from the sun when the sun really can provide us with so many great nutrients. So that's my lecture on red light panels. And if you're only looking for one skincare device, get a red light panel. You will be so surprised at what a great impact it's had on your skin. So I will be posting the video on the changes in my face since I've been home doing my devices probably towards, oh gosh, like the first week in July or so, because I want to give it, you know, a couple of weeks so you guys can really see what happens when you lose, when you use um, radio frequency and microcurrent, of course, I, I use my Nira, but you're not going to see an immediate results from the Nira. That is more generating collagen and elastin in the heavy creases I have down here on my marionette lines. So that's the scoop on that. All right. Any questions here in the chat? Um, can't go wrong with red light. That's true, JR. Absolutely. I'm watching in my backyard getting your vitamin D. Good for you. That's so exciting. Um, let's see the one I have three settings are day best. To, what time of day best to use red light? Uh, any, <laughs> just pick one. That's the cool thing about red light. Particularly if you get a panel, you can just plop your little butt down in front of that thing. And for 10 minutes, you know, boom, and you're done. And I love the fact that I have a long panel. Uh, it's mine is the, it's called the 750, the pro 750 and it's long. And it hits me from the top of my head. And I, I go like this to get it on my scalp as well, all the way almost down to my waist. So I am getting a big dose of that really healthful, really rejuvenating red light all over my whole body. It can help with sleep. It can help with your mood. My daughter used it. My daughter watched my place, my puppy, my kitty while I was gone in South Carolina and she sat in front of it every day for 10 minutes. She struggles with acne, a little bit adult acne. It improved her skin dramatically while she was here. So I sent her home with a smaller red light unit so she can continue to use that. So lots of great things from red light. Um, okay. I use a Q-tip dipped in a mixture of vinegar and water every week. And I pull the hair out after each use with a special hair removing pick I bought on Amazon. Those are great tips for that revel on one step. I think the keeping up with the maintenance regularly is probably a good solution. I did not. I just used it for several months and all of a sudden really took a look at it. And I went, oh, that's gross. And it was just me being so busy. I wasn't really noticing how disgusting it had gotten. So there we have it. All right. I just still just have the, the small needle panel, which is great. It really is. Um, I like to put on a YouTube meditation video while I'm using my red light. That's such a great idea. I love the fact that I have you guys who are, you know, meditating and sitting in the sun and gardening and all those cool things. So let's see, I'll give you a little update of what's going on in my life before we sign off today. So I'm home clearly from South Carolina and I have started packing and I don't know what it is. My house is a wreck. And I was telling my daughter, I'm feeling really confident about this, really confident. And every day she's checking in with me. She says, how's your confidence level now? And I'm like, well, it's down about 10%. I didn't think I had very much stuff. But of course, once we start packing, it just gets crazy and ridiculous. So I am only driving across country in my SUV. I have like an SUV thing with my kayak on top, 
with my cat and with my dog and personal belongings. I'm not taking U-Haul. I'm not, you know, doing that whole thing. I looked into shipping all my stuff. It's ridiculously expensive to ship anything across country. So I'm just going to start over, give my daughter my furniture. She needs most of it because she's in between moving houses. And what we had for her was not worth saving. So I'm going to be able to give her the furniture that I put together this place with, which is nice because it's good furniture, really quality. It's, you know, a, it's a style that will work for her, which will be great. So I am moving across country. I'm shipping a few boxes, but not very, very many. Now, when I get there, it's going to be a really, really fun project. You guys, if you haven't seen my videos, I have rented a house in a little town called Aiken, which is on the south end, right in the middle of the state of South Carolina. It's exciting because <laughs> there's a lot of work to be done. And I like that because I love decorating a home and the yard itself needs a whole lot of work because it's in a sad, sad shape. And I love gardening. And I have been fortunate to meet while I was there, the owner of like the best garden center in the whole area. It's called Grassroots Nursery. And I was there and I was filming and this guy walks up to me and he goes, oh, that's a good camera. He says, what kind of microphone are you using? We started talking and I said, well, I have a YouTube channel. He says, I do too. And it turns out he was the owner of Grassroots Nursery and he was intrigued because I was filming. He's going to work with me on fluffing up the landscaping, both front and back at the new place, which is going to be so fun. I have done a lot of gardening in my life. And I actually, in another lifetime, owned a pool and landscape construction company. So I know a lot about how to fluff up outdoor spaces. Now, I didn't do a lot of the work myself, most of the work because I had a crew, you know, I was running the office stuff, but I do understand the power of good landscaping and what you can do. So with this property, I'm going to be doing all the hands-on work. I might hire one guy to help me, you know, clean, you know, areas of the property up or haul stuff or that sort of thing. But I'm going to be planting and amending the soil and all that sort of thing. And I'm going to be doing flower gardens, decorative landscaping, and I'm also going to be doing a lot of growing my own food. Now, some of you are going to understand why I'm growing my own food. The rest of you will understand that in about six months. <laughs> We've got a few a food shortage and it's not going to get better. And I love to grow my own food. I love organic, homegrown, everything that I've grown in my garden. And I used to have a huge garden with 27 chickens and five dogs and four cats and the whole thing. The food that I grow myself is so delicious and so tasty. It just beats out you know, store-bought vegetables and fruits by a mile. So I'm actually going to put in as big a garden as I can, food garden, in um, containers. Because if I decide to stay in that area, I want to be able to move the containers over to my new property if I buy a property and actually plant them into the ground. But I'm going to be doing fruit trees, vegetable gardens. I'm going to start as many... Um, in ground things if there's areas in ground but i'm going to be growing a ton of food and bring you guys along with me because i just love 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 that part and i'm excited to decorate the backyard and make it pretty and make it a lovely space to hang out in lucy's excited because she's going to have a whole yard to run around and it's all fenced plus i'm going to decorate the entire inside of the house now the house itself is very very small this house was the only house available to rent with any of my criteria in the whole town of Aiken. They have nothing there. But fortunately, I found this darling little house it was built probably in the early 1900s. It has been refurbished by the current owners. In other words, they bought it, fixed it up a little bit. So there's some new fixtures and new finishings inside the house, which makes it nicer. There are some things that I wish they would have done, but they didn't do. But we're going to work around that. So we're going to work together and put this whole house together, put this whole yard together and just build a whole new life in Aiken, South Carolina. I'm excited about that. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
So let's see. Um, my entire family had moved there. Okay, growing food is the best. Tomatoes taste better. Cucumbers, etc. Wish I had a bigger area to grow food. All my growing is in pots. You know, I I actually grew on my patio out here, and I actually grow microgreens in my house. I'm going to be growing microgreens in South Carolina too. So I'll have the microgreens in the house, and then the food garden outside of the house. I am going to put in a summer garden. I'm going to get there around the first week of July. And because the growing season in South Carolina is really long, our first frost date is around November 1st, I'm going to have a few months in order to grow summer vegetables, cucumbers, tomatoes, that sort of thing. Is it going to work? I don't know. Because I'm going to be starting young plants in some really tremendous heat. It's going to be hot in South Carolina. But I'm going to give it a whirl because it's worth it to me. But I am going to put it in a full fall garden. And I'm also going to have some vegetables in there that I can overwinter. So I should have food all year long. And I'm excited about that. Well, you guys, I need to stop now <laughs> and get packing. I have so much work to do. I wish all of you could come over and help me. We could get it done in about an hour. Wouldn't that be fun? So I want to thank you so much for joining me. Don't miss the Ordinary Sale. Honestly, great company, great products, great prices, 23% off. It's truly, truly worth it. And I'm going to get busy packing today. I hope everything is lovely and warm and cuddly and charming in your world and that you're having a great weekend. I appreciate you guys so much for taking your time to spend it with me. It really does mean the world to me. And I appreciate that. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. I am going to go back and read every single chat because I want to know what you guys are talking about. Make sure you put any comments down below the video or if you have questions or that sort of thing so I can answer them. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and lifestyle for us over 50 gals. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.